2002 with his mother, Noelle. Now with names like Nicholas and Noelle, does anyone want to take a guess what time of the year they were rescued? Christmas. Christmas, exactly. Mm -hmm. They were rescued on Christmas Eve, to be exact, back in 2002. Mm -hmm. Now, Noelle, out in the wild, she got very, very ill. When dolphins get sick, just like us, they want to conserve their energy. When I get sick, all I want to do is lay in bed all day, watch Netflix, and maybe eat some soup. So dolphins want to conserve their energy out in the wild. Start by training our animals is through target training. So you'll notice Sarah there holding a target pole, which is just an extension of our arm. And the first behavior that our animals understand is to touch their rostrum against that target pole. Once they understand that behavior, they can then follow the target pole and be guided into more complex behaviors for the future. When they understand the behavior that we are trying to ask of them or shape, uh, we can pair it with a hand signal. Uh, we communicate to our dolphins using our hand signals. They don't understand to call a bridge. So this is our whistle uh, right here. So anytime you hear uh, one of our animal care specialists blow this whistle throughout the day, that means the animal did exactly what we were looking for. So feel free to reinforce from your seats by clapping for them and applauding for them. It seems to be highly reinforcing. Now we train all of our animals through positive reinforcement. So what that means is we draw a lot of fish food, exactly. They can eat 20 pounds of food every single day. But sometimes they might not always be food motivated. Sometimes they might have a stuffed belly. Um, I don't personally understand that because I'm always food motivated. However, sometimes they might not always be food motivated. So it's our job to find other things that they find reinforcing as well, such as back questions. They didn't do what we were looking for. They were either incorrect or they he seems to get very amped up being asked to go onto that scale. Once again, I do not. However, he does. Uh, so we can get a body weight on all three of our dolphins once a week. Uh, we can ask them to collect different samples, such as chuck samples, fecal wow. samples, um, urine samples, different things like that, just to make sure that they are over, uh, uh, overly healthy and make sure that they stay nice and healthy under our care here at our facility. Now the second reason why we train our animals is for cognitive behaviors. Cognitive refers to exercising the most. If they're mimicking mom, what is mom doing? I have to follow everything mom does so I know what to do. Uh, they have to figure out where to find their food. When they find their food, they have to figure out how to catch it. They have to uh, stay away from predators, different things like that. Just like us, they also make that more challenging and do other uh, behaviors and we can ask them to swim out into the pool. So he knows a lot of behaviors right in front of us. But well, we can ask him to go a little further away from us and ask him to do those same behaviors but at a further distance. We also play fun games with them called matching games. So if you guys remember when you were kids, maybe you have those matching cards, you have to find uh, the correct pair. Possibly, he might have got a little lost, that's okay. Uh, but we train them for physical exercise. So out in the wild, these guys are traveling miles and miles on end in search of that food every single day. Once again, Nick knows 20 pounds will get delivered to him, so he doesn't have to exercise. Um, but if we don't ask him to, we're going to have a pretty fluffy dolphin on our hands. We don't want to have any fluffy dolphins. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! <laughs> you guys can give him a nice round of applause out there. He's physically fit and he has a nice, healthy heart. These guys are very, very athletic. Nick here seems to be our star athlete, and we know that because we get to interact very, very closely with him. So he gets very amped up asking one high energy behavior after the other, keeping our sessions fast paced. If I went down to home and asked her the same thing, she'd look at me like I have three heads. She's my kind of dolphin when it comes to exercising, for sure. However, uh, Nicholas.